Hi everyone, welcome back to Chandan Logics. So today we are going to deal with June 17th current affairs. We are going to cover the concepts regarding international affairs, national affairs, as well as defense news and coming to science and technology, what are the various schemes launched in different states, important days as well as some reports we are going to see today. So let us start our day with the first current affair, what is that? Cabinet approves deep ocean machine of Ministry of Earth Sciences. So here we are considering deep ocean machine. So this is governed by the Ministry of Earth Sciences. So here Ministry of Earth Sciences is acting as the nodal office for this mission. What is that mission? Deep ocean machine. So here first you need to know about Samudrayan project. So this Samudrayan project is mainly focusing on the ocean resources by what by sending the submersible vehicles into the ocean that means into the 6000 meters depth so it will send that machines as well as in this project like in this deep ocean machine two like we can say what we can say like what are the two other projects also involved in this that means even it will go into the 6000 meters depth and it will identify the ocean resources water under the water and according to this Samudrayan project this deep ocean machine has launched. So this deep ocean machine is also what about the manned as well as robotic force is also involved in this. So here we are saying regarding the ocean resources. So what are that so even we have we can identify the minerals and ocean resources by using this machine. So like minerals we can say like cobalt, manganese and copper etc. So these are the minerals if you take from the like ocean under that. So you can use for your electronic devices such as like in computer chips you can use that materials or else we can say minerals right. So here according to this deep ocean machine many like uh, what we can say PMN okay so these nucleots will be involved in this project in this deep ocean machine and mainly like we can get the energy that will be useful for the next 100 years so these are the estimations regarding the deep ocean machine so in the same way like how isro is conducting like in the space research organization so this is regarding what it will conduct like space like their surveys or else it can we can see that researches in the same way regarding oceans the mission is deep ocean machine so what we are saying and this is mainly conducted in the region indian ocean central indian ocean region and that is by whom by united inter nations international seabed authority so this un international seabed authority headquarters we can see at jamaica so that is going to conduct this deep ocean machine in the central indian ocean region regarding what regarding the ocean resources and like benefits or else we can say like advantages of this deep ocean machine is we can know about the development of ocean part regions man marine resources as well as we can know about the ocean technology and ocean biology also. So this will be helpful in these various areas. So that is why this deep ocean machine like project has been approved by the cabinet and here you have to see like it is working as a nodal minister like nodal officer is what nodal office is the ministry of earth sciences and here the main word you have to focus is on the blue economy so this project is the blue economy initiatives under the blue economy so this actually this word blue economy is bought first bought by the person called Gun gunter pauli in his 2000 10 book so in this he has described about the like what we can say sustainable ocean resources and sustainable livelihoods regarding the marine resources as well as ocean resources so in that he has described about the word called blue economy so this is also similarly related to like green economy only so here blue economy means mainly regarding the ocean and marine sectors so that is about blue economy so now here if we move into the topic 
this is mainly for what to explore the deep ocean that means 6000 meters and here we are saying indian ocean region no so in that in the indian ocean region like this survey this mission is going to take place like the area it is going to cover is 75000 square kilometers so this is the area going to cover under this machine and that is under the ministry of earth sciences so here you can see deep ocean for resources as well as develop the deep sea technologies for sustainable use of these what we can say ocean resources and this is that means the first phase will be started from this will be carried during the 2021 to 24th and for this first phase the estimated cost is 2823.4 crore rupees so this is the cost they are estimating for the first phase only and the main objective is what regarding to support the blue economy of the government of india so you can see like ministry of earth sciences is going to deal with deep ocean mission next central government launched the project oto for india initiative so here we are saying what project o2 that means regarding oxygen so mainly why this project o2 is bought up that means launched by indian government means why because in this crisis mainly we are facing the problem regarding medical oxygen right as well as like we are importing from various countries and like we are exporting the oxygen from to the avan state to other state like wherever the need is more so to overcome all these problems india has came up with this initiative that project is regarding the medical oxygen for the production of medical oxygen now if we move into the topic government of india has launched the project called what project o2 in the name itself we are having o2 that means production of this medical oxygen to meet what to meet the potential increase in demand due to the further waves so now this pandemic that means this crisis is not stopping in this second wave only maybe it is having like third or fourth wave so estimating that considering that upcoming waves this what we can say this initiative has launched by the central government and also to help whom to help the stakeholders working to augment the country's ability to meet the rise in this demand why because nowadays if you see for medical oxygen the demand is increasing day by day so by considering all these areas mainly regarding this crisis this project has launched by the central government that project is what project o2 for india and if you can see here this is also working to what to strengthen the manufacturing ecosystem of the long term preparedness next regarding telangana ai mission launched the rave up so this rave up accelerator this will run is an accelerator to what to promote and the development regarding the ai startups and also to create the solution for the toughest problems regarding the business sector or its technology sector and also here we are saying what telangana ai machine what is that ta so this was formed under the it department of telangana okay so this team is mainly for what to develop telangana as like hyderabad as a destination for what for the global what we can say ai hub artificial intelligence hub so among like top 25 global innovation hubs will be there regarding ai so in that telangana government needs to be placed on the top position regarding the global innovative hubs that we are saying what artificial intelligence so many times in our classes we have discussed regarding artificial intelligence some specific program will be entered inserted in the machines so that it will work like the humans right so like human actions also even that will mimic so that is regarding artificial intelligence so if you see here telangana government ai mission we are saying artificial intelligence machine so now under this machine only they have launched the pro program called rave up that means increasing the faster speed to regarding the 
development towards technology and artificial intelligence. So, the main objective and if you see here along that means Telangana government launched this TA along with what NASCO. What is that? NASCO mention the established year of NASCO as well as the full form of NASCO. This is the non-profit organization and the trade association non-profit organization which deals mainly with what mainly regarding the software services as well as BPO industry so that is NASCOM so it is powered by NASCOM that means TM is powered by NASCOM and as a part of this an accelerator program called RevUp. this is mainly to what to enable and empower the AI startups that means artificial intelligent startups so startups we are saying mainly these are plays an important role in the economic growth and this program will begins its first phase in july that means another step towards what making telangana as well as hyderabad as a global destination for the ai and the emerging technologies towards this artificial intelligence hub so telangana should be the global destination so that is the main objective to bring all these various programs under TM that is Telangana Artificial Intelligence Machine. Next regarding Microsoft names CEO Satya Nadella as a chairman. So if you see major of the companies like it is having like it is giving as a chairmanship for the Indian Americans. So here Satya Nadella is Indian American. So now he has to charge as a Microsoft chairman. If you see here he is Satya Nadella. Now he is taking like he is working as a chairman of Microsoft. So previously like from whom from whom he has took over this charge we will see now that is Steve Ballmer. He is the software gained CEO in 2014 and now he is credited with bringing the new energy to this company that is founded in the year 1975. And this company also appointed that means Microsoft also appointed the former chairman John Thompson as a lead independent director. So in this one current affair you can cover the two topics what is that lead independent director of Microsoft as well as the chairman of Microsoft ok. So the two names you have to remember first one is Satya Nadella the chairman of Microsoft company and the lead independent director is John Thompson. So here we are dealing with the company what is that Microsoft. So the headquarters is at Washington United States. Next regarding Viva Tech ok. So PM Modi addressed this Viva Tech virtually Viva Tech 2021. So actually this Viva Tech is an event regarding the development of technology. So here Prime Minister of India has addressed as a guest of honor he has invited as a guest of honor for this event mainly every year this event will be conducted in Paris ok. So why to discuss about these all the various technologies regarding the development in all the countries. So this Viva Tech is the largest digital and startup events. So here also we are discussing about startups. So this startups is like a small business but this will create the more jobs that means employment is more. So if employment is more in the country so that it will increase what like employment will be directly proportional to the economic growth right. So if employment increases so in the country the economic growth will be increases. So this is the relation between employment as well as economic growth regarding what? Regarding the startups. Right? So now this Viva Tech is what? Mainly focusing on the digital technologies as well as the startups. So now in this meeting like if you see this was organized from 16th to 19th June every year and from when this Viva Tech event is started to celebrate in Paris that is since 2016. So in this meeting PM Modi addressed invited the world to what to invest in India regarding the five main pillars that are talent, market, capital, ecosystem and the culture of openness. So he has 
like addressed invited all the world to invest in India regarding these five sectors. So in this event, Prime Minister Modi invited as a guest of honor. And if you see here, this is jointly organized by the various companies leading what the French media group. And this event bring together the stakeholders in technology innovation as well as the startup ecosystem and it includes the exhibition. That means in this Vivatech, they will exhibit different products regarding the technology development as well as awards will be given and panel discussions will be done. On the, in this event. That event is called what? Viva Tech. Next if you see, Defence Minister approves the budgetary support regarding what? Regarding the IDEX DIO. That too for what is the budgetary support? The amount is 499 crore rupees for the innovations. Of what? innovations for defense excellence and defense innovation organization for the next five years that means like what we have defense weapons or as defense equipments that should not be imported from the other countries so india should be the uh, one to create what to the inno as a innovation hub regarding the manufacturing hub of the weapons that means military weapons that should be manufactured in india only by what we can say considering various innovative ideas and the various what we can say technologies we have to use and we have to manufacture our weapons so that is the main objective to approve this budgetary support and this funds will be used for what to provide the financial support for the MSMEs also as well as for 300 startups and individual innovators with the larger goal of what ensuring the self-reliance regarding defense sector why we are saying self-reliant that is regarding what a step towards Atma Nirbhar Bharat So now if you see here, we are saying like it will provide financial assistance for whom? MSMEs, micro, small and medium enterprises. So for this, according to 2018 bill, so based on the annual turnover, we can identify as a micro, small and medium enterprises. So the first one is like micro, micro enterprises we can see that. The annual turnover will be 5 crore rupees. Okay. So, if you see regarding the small enterprises, there will be from 5 to 75 crore rupees. So, based on the annual turnover only, we can identify or else we can classify the enterprises. So, that too on what? Annual turnover. So, the last one is medium enterprise regarding what is that annual turnover 75 to 250 crore so make a clear note of these enterprises that to regarding 2018 bill so this is the estimation of micro small and medium enterprises the first one is 5 crore 5 to 75 and 75 to 250 crores so this is all about idex devo so like you may get the chance you may have the chances regarding like questions how they will ask you means like Recently, it is in news regarding IDEX and DIO. So, what is that news? Like in which minute, that means in which sector we are seeing that news. So, that is regarding the defense sector. So, focus on the innovations for defense excellence and defense innovation. Next is what? ICICI Bank launches the ICICI Stack Corporates. So, this is mainly to provide what? To provide the set of digital banking solutions for the mainly it is focusing on the four pillars so that solutions digital banking solutions are for the companies channel partners dealers and vendors employees and the curated services for promoters directors and signatories so these are the main four pillars what is that this icic stake stack corporates so this is the objective of the icic bank for launching this idea now if you see here we are dealing with icici bank so 
while we are dealing like with any organized international organizations or national organizations companies banks you have to focus on the headquarters so the headquarters is at mumbai maharashtra next adb inks you united states dollars of 484 billion million loan with government of india to upgrade the road network in tamil nadu so here we are saying first asian bank has done an agreement with the government of india so here for what we are saying asian development banks that means in this 68 countries that means the membership is of 68 countries so this adb was established in the year 1966 so in this 68 countries we are seeing no so that members member states are from the asia and pacific region so in this you may get the doubt is india is a member country or not yes india is a member in this adb so this in this adb india has joined in the year 1966 only okay so it is having like total 68 countries we are saying no in that 49 is from this asia pacific and the other 19 countries from the outside so actually what is the objective of this adb so this will provide the financial assistance for the developing countries which are a part of this asian development bank and also provide the quality life for the poorer people regarding this 68 countries is it clear now so now this has agreed about the a loan regarding what regarding the upgrading of road network in tamil nadu and also to improve transport connectivity and facilitate the industrial development in this chennai kanyakumari industrial corridors in tamil nadu and this is also mainly the key is to providing the seamless road connectivity across the industrial clusters and here we are saying industrial corridors also that means that like the state of art and with the high developments are there regarding rail and road networks also that is industrial corridors and also it will help to reduce the logistics and to boost their competitiveness so this is the main objective of this project that means this loan agreement is there no regarding the upgradation of the roads in road network in tamil nadu next if you see the world day to combat the desertification and drought in on 17th june so here you have to know about unccd so this was formed in the year 1994 that means the draft was opened the sign in 1994 but it came into force in 1996 so in this unccd india is a member and mainly if you see unccd we are saying united nations convention to combat the desertification that means starting with 50 countries ratification this has bought up so in this 50 countries ratification india has also done the ratification regarding the unccd okay so now this day we are saying what combat the desertification and droughts right so what is meant by desertification if you see here like degradation of land or else the dry land regarding resulting in the various activities what are that various activities even the human activities climate change conditions these are also involved in this desertification so to combat this every year on june 17th this day is celebrated and also to raise the awareness of the presence of desertification and droughts and also to prevent this desertification that means what are the various methods are there to prevent this as well as how to recover from the droughts so to bring awareness regarding these areas this day is celebrated and you have to focus on the theme of 2021 what is that restoration land recover recovery we build back better with the healthy land and if you see here actually first we celebrated this day is started in 1994 by united nations general assembly next regarding cipri year book 2021 what is that cipri year book so that is nothing but regarding the international peace research stockholm international peace research institute this has released the 
Sipri year 2021 book. Okay, so that report what the the report assesses the current state of armaments, disarmament, and international security. So if you see regarding India, that means about the stand on nuclear power. Always India uses what is that? No first use. That means. India won't use the nuclear weapons on the non-nuclear weapon countries as well as India won't use nuclear weapons on the even nuclear weapon countries but if it uses first then as a counter we will use the nuclear weapons on the nuclear weapon countries but on non-nuclear weapon countries India won't use the nuclear weapons so this is about like according to this 2021 yearbook india possessed an estimated 156 nuclear warhead at the start of 2021 that means compared to 2020 the what is the nuclear warhead number it is 156 if you see regarding pakistan it is of 165 warhead and here now we are dealing with what SIPRI that means regarding International Peace Research Institute no so that headquarters is at Oslo Norway and it was established in the year 1966 6th May let us conclude our class with a positive quote so every morning you are having the two chances either you have to sleep or else you have to wake up but if you woke up you have to woke up like what is that you have to have an idea or else you have to ha have in your mind that you have to chase your dreams so in that way with a positive mindset you have to start your day is it clear so everyone start your day with a positive mindset and do your like reach your goal as soon as possible stay home stay safe in this pandemic situation have a good day everyone thank you